everyone and welcome back to my channel it's Denny in today's video I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful blanket this is the winter blossom blanket and it is made out of granny squares and as you can see it's got these beautiful colors that of course I had to pick mustard in there and it is just such a cozy and warm blanket I am obsessed and it's pretty simple to make so before we get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and also remember that you will have the free pattern for this blanket on my blog at cjdesignblog.com and you can get also the diagram there now the materials that we're gonna use I'm using for this blanket nine millimeters but if you crochet it really tight go down to an eight millimeter then you will need your scissors and of course a tapestry needle now for the yarn I'm using Bernat blanket yarn in these three beautiful shades for the circles this is smoky green then we have pale gray and of course burnt mustard and then for the last two rounds of the square and also to join the squares I'm using this off-white color this is birch but of course you can use any color that you like now as you can see in here the circles are kind of curling and that is pretty normal when you are making a circle and then going into squares um, so don't be scared if this is happening to your circles it will flatten as they become square and they're still gonna have like a little bit of you know curling in there that's totally fine then the weight of the blanket it's going to make it a little bit more flat but if you're using any other kind of materials I would highly recommend to um, block the squares okay so now to begin we're going to start with color B C or D which are the colors that you have chosen for your circles and we're gonna begin with a magic ring I'm using this method because it is easier for me but please use whatever method you prefer for this step so now that we have the magic ring we're going to chain three so we I chained one already two and three and this chain three will count as one double crochet in every single round so here we have the first double crochet now we're going to make 12 double crochets in total in the magic ring so because we already have the chains we have two already now we continue making double crochets in the magic ring until we have 12 in total now that we're done this is how it should be looking like now close the magic ring pull tight just be careful because we all know that this part can actually break the yarn so be very careful and now we're going to join the round and to do so we're going to insert our hook in the third chain and slip stitch to close so round one is completed now we're going to do round two to start round two you're going to chain three and again this one will count as one double crochet and in here we're going to increase in every single stitch increasing is just placing two double crochets in the same space so because in here we have the first one which is the chains now we're going to make another double crochet then we go to the next space and we make two double crochets in that same stitch so we can create an increase you should have in total 24 stitches at the end of this round now that we are done with round two this is how it should be looking we're going to join the round with a slip stitch again here's how round two should be looking like and now for round three we're going to make clusters and remember the chain three counts as one double crochet so we're going to place the first cluster in this very first space to do that we're going to yarn over 
and pass through these two first loops then as if we were making a double crochet and then yarn over pass through two loops and when we have the three double crochets in here at the bottom we yarn over and pull through all the loops we'll do it again chain two now you're going to skip one stitch and in the next one we're going to make another cluster so insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops again yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two now we have two double crochets or kind of double crochets we do that again one more time and we should have three unfinished <laughs> double crochets or four loops on your hook now yarn over pull through all the loops and again chain two skip one and then make another cluster in the following stitch now you're gonna repeat this sequence until you have completed 12 clusters this is gonna be the end of your circles so here we have the last cluster that I'm gonna show you guys and voila now again you should have 12 clusters when we get to the end of the round we're missing in here our two chains but I'm gonna do three instead and you will see why so here I'm done and I'm gonna cut my yarn so I can join the round and then join the new color so I cut the yarn and as you can see when I pull the yarn that third chain will disappear so then I will have only my two chains, which is what we want. So if we do that only with two chains, we'll end up with one chain at the end. So now I'm using my tapestry needle to join the round. And I will be done with round three and with the circles. Now do your best to weave in the ends. I know it's not easy and this is just the not nice part but we have to do it and make sure you are doing it as best as you can now bring color a this is going to be your main color and we're going to start making the circles into squares and to do that you're gonna grab your yarn and your hook and you're going to insert your hook in any of the chain two spaces now you're going to bring the yarn and we're going to lock it with a chain just like that now in this space right here we're going to start making the side of the square and as we go we're going to hide that little tail so in the space that we have right here we're going to make a half double crochet another half double crochet and then a single crochet in that same space we have the single crochet now we're gonna do the same thing but reverse in the next space we have three stitches in here now in this next space we're going to do a single crochet now two half double crochets and just like that we have completed one side of the square this is the side now we're going to make the first corner the first corner will be two double crochets two chains and two double crochets in the same space so we have one double crochet two double crochets now we chain two and then two double crochets again in that same space I like to pull the yarn a little bit so the stitch is a little bit tighter now we're gonna repeat this side so we have to do now the next side of the square so in the next chain space we're going to make half double crochet half double crochet single crochet again in the same space 
now we go into the next chain two space and we do single crochet half double crochet and half double crochet again and just like that we have completed another side of the square now we need to make the next corner and we're gonna repeat the sequence so you're gonna want to do this until you have your square completed so here we're making the next square the next um, corner sorry <laughs> so we have the corner ready and now we can continue to the next side of the square and again continue doing this until you have your square completed so here is how the square should be looking like now to join the round you're going to insert your hook in the very first stitch that we have it might be a little bit tricky and then slip stitch to join now for the next round all we're gonna do is double crochets so chain three and this will be your first double crochet and then continue in each stitch making a double crochet you should have in total 64 double crochets in this round which is the one that is very important to count so then you know you have the right amount of stitches especially when you're joining the squares you don't want to have uneven numbers on each square so here we have the double crochets one double crochet per stitch and then when we get to the corner we do the exact same thing we will treat the corner as the corner <laughs> So here I'm getting to the corner and I'm going to do again two double crochets, two chains and two double crochets to create the corner. Now one stitch that it's a little bit tricky and is usually the one that people will skip is the one that comes right after this corner. So in here I have the last stitch for my corner. So I'm done. And the stitch right here, which is the next one, sometimes gets, gets hidden by the last double crochet in the corner. So make sure you're not skipping this one right here. And insert your hook and continue double crochet on the side of the square until you get to the end of the round. And again, make sure you're placing one double crochet in each stitch available. now that we have this square done all we got to do is cut the yarn fast enough and weave in the end remember that the square or the circle in here will still be a little bit like fluffy not fluffy like bubbly i guess and that's totally normal it will get better once you join the the squares and it becomes a blanket so now I'm going to join the round to finish the square and in here we have to do again our best to um, weave in the ends. Again this is not the easiest and it's not always our favorite part but I promise it's gonna be worth it and also is if you do it right away when you're done your square it's gonna be so much easier because then you don't have to worry about it at the end and in here what I like doing is weaving in this end until getting to the bottom so then I can make a knot with both ends and once I'm done with the knots I just weave in that end in between pass it through and the knot kind of gets in the middle so then I can just cut the ends and that's just how I like doing it and it works for me so now for the blanket you're gonna want to make 14 squares of each color so color b color c and color d 14 squares of each and granny squares are nice for that you can just bring one color at a time and work wherever you go um, and yes if you're using any other kind of material please make sure to block your squares now joining the squares which is the part that everybody dreads but it's kind of my favorite because this is where all the magic happens for this step we're going to be using the slip stitch method which i have shown before we're going to insert our hook in one of the chains 
from both squares in the back loop of that stitch. Leave that tail behind and now our working yarn will be always under the hook. Remember that, always under the hook. So what I like doing is putting the yarn like under in here so I make sure that it's always under. And then you're gonna grab from one square the back loop of the stitch and then from the other square the back loop of the stitch, yarn over and slip stitch. Again, the back loop, the back loop, and then yarn over and slip stitch. This method, it's really easy once you get the first few stitches and then it just goes really, really fast. I don't know, it's my favorite method. And as you can see, I'm using the same color as the color, the last round of the squares. So color A. And I like using this method whenever I have the same color for each, for all the squares, like the last round of the square when it's the same color, I like using this method because you can see a little, a little bit, you know, of the joining in here, which is nice, but it's not, it doesn't bother me because it's the same color. So now that we're done, we have to place our colors how we want it. So remember you will have the um, color combinations and the diagrams on my blog so check that out so you can know exactly where the color goes so that you can finish your blanket now for the border super simple nothing fancy you in here you can get creative but i just did half double crochet all around so i finished in here so i'm gonna start right away and i'm just making half double crochets all around and then obviously when we get to the corner, we treat the corner as it should. But instead of doing the double crochets for the corner, I'm doing half double crochets because that's the stitch I'm using for the corner. And again, you can get creative. You can do whatever stitch you like. You can do fringes. I don't know, it's totally up to you in here. You can get creative. But at this point, I just wanted to finish my beautiful blanket and it's already got a lot of personality so I just wanted to do half double crochets. So in here as you can see I'm doing the corners so I did two half double crochets, two chains and then two half double crochets and I did exactly two rounds for the border. Again you can make more, you can use a different color, it's totally up to you and I cannot wait to see the color combinations that you guys are gonna be using and to see all the squares remember the free pattern is on my blog and if you don't like going to blogs and you know dealing with all of that you also have the pdf version that is going to be listed in my shop that is a paid pattern the fur the free version is on my blog and the paid version is the pdf that you can download so all of those links will be in the description box of this of this video as well as everything that i used all the materials and everything will be listed in the description below so please check that out and please don't forget to tag me on social media because i am really excited for this blanket you guys and i cannot wait to see your creations the color combinations that you guys are going to come up with and the borders and all of that so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in my next video which i will show you the behind the scenes of making this blanket so stay tuned for that and that's all for today i'll see you guys in the next one bye